Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. We're here with Peter Nygren, who is the, I don't know, whatever title he wants to give himself, sales rep, janitor, CEO, president, owner of Meonix. So you guys have heard me just yammer on and on and on and on about this keyboard. This is the Zeibel 60. This is not a new product. I know because I've been using one for months now. I love it. This is my favorite keyboard. Cherry MX Blacks are not my favorite switches, but there's some kind of voodoo magic in this keyboard that makes them feel way better than any other MX Black keyboard I have encountered. They've also got some new products, such as the Naos 8200, which we'll be doing an unboxing of shortly. There's actually one waiting for me at home. It's got 16.2 million colors available to it, right? 16.8, pardon me, and it has an 8200 DPI sensor. The same ergonomics from the Naos 3200 and 5000. This is just more of an upgraded SKU. But what I really want Peter to talk about is what's in his hand right here. Yeah. So this is a new headset that we will release later this year, probably in early quarter two. Uh, this is our analog version. Uh, what's special with it is uh, we have memory foam. Uh, in here we also have angle drivers, uh, which is uh, audio file um, with audio file settings. So we have a Tell, um, tell me more about the advantage of angled drivers. What does that do for the listening experience? Uh, ba basically, um, your ear is not totally flat. It's angled, so we want to face the driver to uh, the ear uh, right position, basically. So it's not like a big angle. It's a smaller angle, but that makes a big difference. Now, I've tried, I've tried these on already, so I already know the answer to this, but explain what you've done to make this headset extremely comfortable. Yeah, basically it's memory foam um, in here. You can actually see how soft this material is. Um, and it basically forms off your head and your ears and everything. So um, that's one of the things. And also, uh, it's, um, you can move the ear cup, inner ear cup in any direction, or ear pads, basically. Yeah, uh, exactly. Okay, so guys, basically, the only real thing that uh, that Peter missed that I think is really important about this thing is the fact that it has volume control that you can actually freaking operate without looking at it. So instead of having sort of like a, you know, a button or some kind of thing on here, this kind of thing, you just have the traditional wheel. You go like that, you change the volume. You don't have to sort of think of, okay, you know, it doesn't have, it's, it's an actual analog wheel instead of just being sort of like some free spinning thing. So you can go off, on, with one touch, not even thinking about it. Also, the mic will mute itself as soon as you put it up. So you guys are going to have two versions of this, right? Yeah, actually, we're going to have uh, quite many versions. This is the base model. Uh, it will come in some different colors, this version. But then you will also get like USB versions and other things to come up later this year. But of course, you can't tell us all the secrets or we wouldn't have anything to make videos about for the rest of this year, is that right? Uh, well, we have quite many things, so I could probably continue for another hour, but yeah, something like that. Thank you for your restraint, Peter. And guys, don't miss any of our CES 2013 coverage. As always, make sure you're subscribed to Linus Tech Tips. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013, powered by Corsair, Seagate Technology, and Linksys.